Well, um, I'm not sure if this was uh, a, a good move or not, considering how exhausted I was at the bottom of the hill. But I'm on my way up to Chanctonbury Ring. Famous, uh, well infamous because of a dalliance uh, that Alistair Crowley had up there in recent, well, in this last century. But before that for all sorts of medieval and folkloristic reasons, none of which I know. All I know is that I've been walking uphill on this path for a long time. Uh, from a chronic fatigue point of view, it was a bit of a folly, but I'm hoping that the energy of the trees and the psychic powers of the mound on top and the ring of uh, trees, not even, I'm naively not sure what the ring is referring to, whether it's a Neolithic ring or whether it's a ring of trees, because I know there were some planted there for ceremonial reasons, or whether the ring refers to the bridal way that I'm on at the moment, and it you know, goes round in a horseshoe ring. I've just found a guy um, whose job it is to tidy up this place, he seems to volunteer. He had two large shopping bags full of, uh, oh did you hear that? There's some shooting going on around here. I drove by accident into uh, a place called Wilton, um, Whist not far from Whiston, I get the two confused. Um, Wilton's and Whiston up from my part of the world as well, so it gets even more confusing. I'm supposed to take the right ring coming up soon, the right path. Uh, so when it splits he says it's not completely obvious and I think this is where it splits, so let's do that now. I'm not going to say too much more, I'm just going to film a little bit. A little bit more, a few seconds, I'm very, very exhausted. I do these follies so fellow exhaustives don't have to. I've discovered that the best way for exhaustives like myself um, to do events like this is to not plan it. That it seems to be only successful on, on a kind of spur of the moment thing. Lots of crows, I've just disturbed, just a minute. Um, look at this amazing fungi, just here. It's like some English rainforest, it's a really... Um, Well, one of the things that I should be pointing out to you is that when you're exhausted, logic, memories, words, sentence structures, all affected by various levels of uh, coenzyme, what is it, coenzyme Q10 probably, and sugar. Luckily I've just eaten, which is partly the inspiration for coming up here today. Here's the... Uh, Here's one of 50 million spooky trees just over there. Oh, not making much sense. I think I better stop and quit while I'm ahead. Not even ahead. I must be nearing the, the ridge of the hill because I can hear a lot more wind. In fact, I am, I'm nearing the apex of the curve by the looks of it ahead. You won't be able to see this, but it's just about over there somewhere. Excuse the low quality zoom. Oh, England, my lion heart. Peter Pan steals the kids in Kensington Park. Read me Shakespeare. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I 
found the ring. It's magnificent. It's really, really cool. And it is a ring of trees. I shall be reporting more closer to the spectacle. I'm also a bit torn because I'm very attracted to this little tank that's here as well. Um, <laughs> uh, my girlfriend told me that no matter where I go, I can like sniff out decay anywhere. Uh, this is great. This is going to get a portrait session on the way back. Believe me. Oh yeah. And I'm trying to keep it straight. Level. There's the ring. Ring of fire. Well, I'm here, and uh, I think it's a Neolithic circle. It's certainly. I'm here, I'm so proud of myself, I know it's not much to you, but I need me from an exhaustive point of view. This is my Everest, this is my K2. It's gorgeous. And the views, I will enclose pictures which you will be able to see at surrealstunning.co.uk of where I am. I'm not alone, there's a farmer. So I'm still circumnambulating the ring. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, just the views. I mean, you can't really see from here, but the views are absolutely superb. It's quite good because I had quite a fattening lunch. So I've had milkshakes and sugary things, and I've come up here to. It was very difficult with chronic fatigue to. Um, do any exercise at all and when you do do it you don't know how you're going to pay for it and it might not be the next day but it'll certainly be the day after something to do with the slow the slow acting powers of the liver or the uh, distribution of toxins so this is actually inside the ring which you have to hop over a uh, barbed wire fence for um, when I was doing my narration I'm being quiet when I was doing my last bit of narration it was quite funny because I was being quite bombastic and there was a couple um, sunbathing right next to me. But I guess people are used to things being on the telephone and stuff, so people being on mobiles and stuff. It is absolutely gorgeous in here. just seen a guy with a metal detector in here and I asked him if he'd found anything and he said yes he'd found his glasses from when he was up here the other night <laughs> so, this is the center I think this is the absolute center so they obviously maintain it because there's lots of reforestation going on inside here lots of saplings and stuff I, touch, I talk such rubbish especially when I'm uh, a little bit tired. I've actually regained a lot of energy from doing that. The adrenaline has pumped in. Oh, it gets a bit of Lair Witch project around here. So this must be the center. I think they're, I'm not quite sure if they're yews or silver birches that haven't grown. I wish someone could tell me what they are. I think this is the center ring though. The center tree rather. Thanks for joining me today. Um, it's always nice to have company. There you go.